Happening today, the family of 10 year old Makaya Wilson, who was shot and killed in Northeast last year, is suing the district. They claim that the DC Housing Authority did not do enough to secure the public housing development where Makaya Wilson was killed. Makaya's mother spoke exclusively to our Michael Quander about the charges. And Michael, you've been following this story for months. What is Makaya's family hoping to achieve? Yeah, we have been following them every single step of the way. This is a $30 million lawsuit, but I want to be clear here. Donetta Wilson says this is not about the money. It's making sure that what happens to her little girl never happens again. Makaya's all through me. I have to be her voice. Makaya Wilson has a place in her mother's heart and a spot still in her home. It's beyond, beyond words how my pain is daily. Donetta Wilson says the hurt has not gone away nearly nine months after losing her daughter. This 10 year old, this fifth grader, died after this group of masked cowards were caught on video pulling up to DC's Clay Terrace neighborhood and firing more than 70 gunshots into a crowd of people. A DCHA needs to be held accountable for their failure to make uh, Makaya and all the residents really of Clay Terrace safe. Attorney Brian McDaniel says the family is suing the D.C. Housing Authority, alleging it failed to provide security gates, guards, or functioning security cameras, despite knowing crime problems in the area. Uh, within 1,500 feet of 321 53rd Street, which is where uh, Makaya and her mother lived uh, in July, uh, there had been, in fact, 23 homicides and over 500 violent crimes in that area. Statistics Wilson and McDaniel say the city knew about. It was like it was ongoing incidents happening daily, 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 and I was talking to them trying to get them to understand what was going on. But again, it was just never enough. So that's what I told them, like, you know, is it enough now? My child is gone, so when is it ever going to be enough? Their lawsuit claims the alleged negligence contributed to the conditions that led up to Makaya's murder. But we have to, we have to stay strong. Or well, this statement would never make it out. You get what I'm saying? And I don't want another tragic story. I just don't. Yeah, she definitely has stayed strong there. Look, Wilson says that if they do win this lawsuit, much of that money is going to go toward funding a foundation in her daughter's name. Uh, and that lawsuit is going to be officially announced during a press conference later today at about 1030. And we have an extended interview with Miss Wilson and her attorney on WUSA9.com. Just go there and click on this story. Annie.